Hello beautiful people, I'm Rach Phoenix and in today's video I will be showing you guys how I installed this wig. Here is the packaging for the wig. So this is the Outre Melted Hairline Lace Front Wig. This is in the style Manuela and I got it in the color DRFF Caramel Mocha. As you can see, this is the wig. Here she is. Within the interior of the wig, you get an elastic band. And then there are two combs on the side. Sorry about the lighting. I, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you have two combs on the sides and then one in the back. And then there is, I believe, a five inch deep middle part. This is the lace straight out of the packaging. This is what it looks like. This is HD lace. And this is what it looks like against my complexion. I'm gonna be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep to help tint the lace. This is what it looks like after I tinted it. So I put it within the interior of the lace and focus it mostly along the hairline to get it to match my complexion to the best of my ability. Putting on the wig, I'm making sure that it is secured down, fixing that elastic band that's inside, and just making sure that I know where I want to place it on my forehead. After I figure that out, I'm just going to tie my hair back. Because this wig also has baby hairs along the, um, the hairline, I am going to just secure those back with hair clips because I want them out of the way while I'm installing it. To make this process easier for myself, I'm going in with my scissors to cut little sections into the lace. I'm just gonna pull it back once I know where I want it to be sitting on my forehead. So I'm gonna be grabbing my Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray, and this is how I'm gonna be applying my wig. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit, and then I'm grabbing a tissue to just um, dab away the excess product that is coming from it. Once I have enough product down, I'm just going to carefully pull down that lace and just making sure that I have the placement where I want it to be. And I'm gonna be dabbing away the excess product on the actual hair. And then I'm going in with my blow dryer and this is on the setting cool to dry it. So one thing I noticed while I was working on this compared to the other Outre wig that I have is that I didn't need as much of the um, free spray. I felt like the lace was a little bit um, thinner, I guess. In the description of this wig and also my previous um, Outre wig, it said that they're both Swiss lace, but this lace is built different, whereas like I didn't need as much product as I was spraying on to just get it to, um, to adhere to my uh, skin. So I think that's just something to be mindful of that you may not need as much product going in because you're gonna be like me, dabbing away all this product and um, didn't need that much. So yeah, that's one of the things I noticed while installing this. Here I am cutting away the excess lace. So I'm just taking my time. Um, I'm not trying to make a perfectly round shape. I am allowing myself to have more of a jagged line so that the lace isn't super detectable. I'm just following what would be my natural hairline, but then also at the same time taking into consideration where the strands of the wig are and just staying a little bit farther away from there while I am cutting away at the lace.
Once I have all the lace cut off, I'm taking my rat tail comb that has the metal end or metal tail if you want to call it that and then i'm putting the free spray on the edge of it and that's how i'm going to lay the excess lace so i'm just going to dab that product on depending on how much lace is lifting will affect how much of the product i need to put on there so sometimes i need to actually put like a drop sometimes it's more than a drop but i just make sure that i you know melt that lace down as much as possible getting it to sit down i will like kind of press it down against the skin as you can see while i'm blow drying on cool to help it to stick down more i like using a metal rat tail comb for this because i feel like with a plastic one it sticks a little bit too much like the product starts to build up a lot on the end of the comb so i like to use a metal one instead now i'm just grabbing my elastic band i'm going to be tying that around my head to help it melt down and you know do the magical stuff and i believe i kept this on for 10 minutes And here I am removing the elastic band. Now I'm just going to remove the hair clips and the hair elastic band in the back from the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and comb it out. And even right now in its current state, you can see how like there's a lot of, I guess you consider it flyaways, like, like there's just a lot of strands that are kind of like going all over the place. And I'll show you later how I combat that. I'm grabbing my Juvia's Place Concealer. I believe this is in the shade number nine, and I'm gonna be applying that to the part in this wig just to help get more of a scalp feeling to it. And I ended up going with a smaller beauty blender just to help diffuse the areas where I felt like the concealer was touching too much on the hair strands. I didn't put any product on the beauty blender. Um, I just went in and just dabbed away and sheared out those places where it felt like the concealer was just going straight onto the hair. Now I'm grabbing my Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner. So remember those hair strands I told you about? So I'm going in and applying this product. I'm not saying that you specifically have to use this. This is just a product I had on hand, but I wanted something that would help kind of bring more of the sections of my hair together like you can kind of see the hair that I already applied it to how it flows more cohesively like more together and it doesn't feel like a bunch of strands kind of like going whichever way that they want to so I wanted to add a little bit more weight to the hair it feels super soft on the hair it smells good it was just it just seemed like the appropriate product that I had on on hand to use to help the hair do what I needed it to do and then here is the wig after the full installation. So you can see a 360 view of how it looks from different angles. This is what the hairline looks like. And this is our completed wig installation. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bless up and until next time, sending out much peace, love, and enlightenment. Bye guys.